Hi, today's experiment is a rather quick and fun one, and it involves a chemical that can be found in many health-related products, and in a lot of food as well. We're going to make gel beads and gel worms. And here are the things you need for this experiment. Sodium alginate, calcium chloride, deionized water, food coloring, You'll also need a scale, and a beaker and some pipettes. First we're going to make two different solutions. One with sodium alginate, and one with calcium chloride. And for the sodium alginate solution, we want the final concentration to be 2%. Today I'm going to make a solution that is 100 milliliters, and that means I'm going to add 2 grams of sodium alginate. Transfer your 100 milliliters of water to a clean beaker and add the 2 grams of sodium alginate while stirring. Make sure everything dissolves. Then add a couple of drops of food coloring. Then we're going to make a 5% calcium chloride solution. I'll add 25 grams of calcium chloride to 500 milliliters of water. Just like before, stir until everything is dissolved. And now the fun starts. Just add small droplets of your sodium alginate solution into the beaker with calcium chloride and see what happens. The drops will form small round gel beads upon contact with the calcium chloride. And if you put the pipette in the calcium chloride solution, you can make gel worms. That was it! Fun and simple! Sodium alginate is a naturally occurring molecule that is extracted from brown algae. We humans use it a lot in food and different health products. But can you think of anything at home that contains sodium alginate? And why it's added to that product? That's all for today. Have fun!